Well, welcome to another video. Today I've got a special helper. Hi. This is Austin. Hello. And uh, he's on holidays. So as yeah. a good dad, I have to take him along with us. So today we're going yeah. to be driving where? To Squamish. To BC. Squamish. To check what? A uh, new charger they have there from Electrify Canada. Yeah, so we're going to do another review for you guys today. This time not Petro Canada, but Electrify Canada. See if that's any better. Yeah. So we've got the Kia uh, right charged to about 250, which should be enough to get there. And also I'm going to pop a little screenshot right there um, of a better route planner because I want to see how that actually works in predicting yep. uh, how long we're, or not how long, but how many kilometers we will have when we get there. All right, so we will see you guys when we get there and some shots from the road right yeah. now. Okay, we have finally arrived at the Electrify Canada uh, EV charger, the fast charger. Battery right now on, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, on Soul Spy says 24, 24, 25, 25. So we're looking at about 25 degrees uh, total temperature, which is perfect for charging. Um, but now I gotta see um, what did, uh, what, what did, um, a better route planner say about how much we're going to we're going to have in terms of charge left when we got here so better route planner said we will have 31 percent and let's see what we actually have and we have, we have 36 percent wow so actually we did much much better um than predicted which is great that's awesome so now i know that it's more or less you know what it's supposed to be so Even that's good we were off we were faster than the speed limit by like 15 and 20 we're still 36 percent yeah we we're trying to go a little bit faster here today so yeah but that's good good to know i'm going to put up the screenshot for you guys to see um uh, once more about the prediction from uh, from a better route planner but like i said now we have 36 percent so hopefully now the charging is actually going to go fast because we still have quite a lot of battery left um i was hoping that we can burn more but we'll see how it goes so we're going to go outside plug in and let's see how we're going to charge as you guys can see this is squamish bc very beautiful place yeah. these are the chargers so there's how many Oh, Four of them. Four of them. They all have two, two plugs. The two plugs, 150 each CCS, and then there is a, as always, a 50 kilowatt hour Chatamo if anybody needs it. Nobody here, just us, but the location is amazing. You've got everything. You've got a hotel down here. You've got London drugs where you can get snacks and drinks. Um, there's gas stations, 7 Eleven. There's a Tim Hortons over there. There's a Tim Hortons down there you Which guys is a coffee shop for all you Americans yeah and then there's like a small shopping mall here as well so pretty good location okay so we got the app set up we're gonna plug in oh it's always hard this one is the 150 one okay let's see what it says connecting to vehicle to vehicle to vehicle still, is. still connecting still <laughs> connecting still connect oh initiating initiating charging it says there it says 0 0.27 dollars a minute let's just go inside the car and just see because on the app here if you guys can see i got 36 percent it's not telling me how quickly I'm charging. So let's go in. Uh, right now it's at 53 kilowatt hours. Right now the charge. So, oh, well, can't see anything because the door keeps being opened. Yeah, but that's pretty good for now. We'll see if, uh, if it goes up. 
and I like how you can just start charging from the app pretty awesome and you get uh, the, the the up to the minute percentage on here as well oh, now it says 53 on here on the app as well all right so we'll check in and see uh, uh, how this goes and if you can go for more than 53 also my son here noticed that these ones here are 350 so the charger number four is a 350 and there are two of them so if you got a Taycan um, or any of the Voi fast charging vehicles, you can uh, go ahead and charge up to 350. Those other ones are 150 only. 150. But yeah, we're charging 53 so far. We will check to see if, um, if we're getting anything better than this. I just saw the app in the store because we're still looking at different things in London Drugs. But it seems like we're doing 70, 70 something kilowatt hour on this charger. Oh yes, 71, 71. So as you guys remember, this was the promise made by uh, Petro Canada from the first review, which kind of didn't happen because I never got 70. This is pretty amazing. So up until 20%, we got 20 minutes left. Now we're at 72. This is pretty good, pretty, pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, this is how fast charging is supposed to be. And we came, just so that you guys know, we came at the worst possible, worst possible time because we had, you know, 30, uh, 36% or something like this. So battery's already full and, um, you know, it, th th there's no capacity for that fast charge that we could be getting here. You know, battery is nice and warm. Soul Spice saying 31, 29, 31, 31, which is pretty amazing. So it's keeping it nice and warm here for us. So that's good. And this is how charging is supposed to be. I hope, I really hope that eventually um, Petro Canada is going to figure something out and, and to improve the charging infrastructure that they have there because they do have a lot of chargers and it would be nice if it actually worked. Not like, uh, like it does now. So for now, Electrify Canada is doing quite well. We'll see how it goes and see when we finish. All right, guys, quick update for you. We're at 70% and we are getting 58 kilowatt hours right now which is pretty good considering that, again, we came here with a lot of battery left. Um, we got our drinks. Yeah, my nasty. Austin's got his nasty. I got my- Red Bull. Uh, Red sugar Bull, free. sugar free, or, or yeah, sugar free. And the battery is at 32 degrees right now, which is pretty good. Um, so it's charging quite well. So far, the charging hasn't stopped. Uh, no issues. We got up until uh, over 70 kilowatt hours at its peak. Right now, 70%, we're getting 58, 59. We got 10 minutes left to 80. This was perfect, right? Yeah, very nice. Like we went to the store, we got some drinks, we had now, a look around 10 and minutes. 10 minutes. We're gonna just drive back down there somewhere. Uh, down there somewhere is a gas station to go to the toilet because there's no toilets here. And there is also no supplies for w washing your windshield. That's something that they should be really doing is like putting buckets of water so you can clean your windshield like on gas stations. I mean, we're paying to charge, right? It's not free you they should they should be doing that. It'd be nice to be able to clean, but it's a very nice stall. I love it. It looks awesome. Yeah, there, and there's eight chargers in total. Yeah, eight chargers. And if you got a Taycan, you can come here and charge for very little money, very, very quickly. So any Taycan owner should definitely be stopping here if they are going to Whistler um, or just traveling around the uh, north of uh, BC. So we'll check back in when we're finished charging. All right, guys, charging's done. That was painless. Yeah. Super good. And this is how it should be. Not, oh, car's yelling at me. Have the key in my pocket. Um, but that's how it's supposed to be. So you get 10 minute grace, just in case uh, you have to do something and you're not at the charger. Ah, there we go. Let's unplug the, oops. 
doing it one-handed is not ideal. So the charging time took 34 minutes, 48 seconds, and we got a discount. I don't know why. So we didn't pay any money. <laughs> Nine dollars and, uh, and and 40 cents. It was free. Um, that's a surprise. Okay. So we didn't pay anything. So even better. Even better. So. Do I recommend this place? 100%. Do I recommend this over uh, Petro Canada? 1 million percent. Plus, this location here is amazing. So, if you guys ever travel around Canada, definitely, definitely use this charger network and don't bother with Petro Canada until they get their stuff together and they managed to make their network more stable. No disconnections, no fluctuations, absolutely no drama charging. There's another Kia here. This one is the, the Nero, but he's not charging. So yeah, am I very happy? I'm very, very, very happy with the way that this company and this network works. So I hope that, you know, Electrify America, if we ever go back to the States, cross the border, it's gonna work the same way. Well, this is awesome. Love it. Now it's pit stop time. We're at A&W. Austin is having a spicy habanero burger, some fries and a Coke. How is it? Good. And I'm still having my sugar-free Red Bull because I can't eat any of this stuff. I'm trying to lose some weight. Yeah, but he's eating all the good stuff. Very yummy. So after the pit stop, we're heading back home. Um, should be interesting to see how much we will uh, use energy on the way back. We didn't use much this time. So we'll see if coming back is going to be more or less. And then when we get home, um, we're going to give a, a little bit of a summary about what we feel and how good Electrify Canada was. But I think it was good, right Austin? Thumbs up? Yeah. But uh, stay tuned for the summary when we get home. All right. So. Let us enjoy our Red Bulls and food and we will do some uh, shots from the car on the way back home because the scenery here is really beautiful. And sorry for all the noise because we're right by the main road here at a and w And by the way, this is Canadian a and w not American, so it's very, very different. And uh, we think much better, right? Yeah. All right, anyway, guys, enjoy the beautiful scenery on the way back and stay tuned for the summary after we get home. Sorry, this is the next day. Didn't have time to um, uh, to film a summary yesterday. We had to also go get uh, haircuts and stuff with uh, with my son, so it was a busy day. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here we are the next day um, after the trip to Squamish and charging with with Electrify Canada. And I have to say, honestly, that this was the best experience that I've had so far charging on any network. Um, it just worked flawlessly. There was no drama. The speed was good. We went up to 72 kilowatt hours. Um, we didn't sustain it too long because we came in with 36%, which is understandable. Um, if we came in with much less, under 10%, maybe even around 5%, we would have been able to sustain that 72 or even more than 72 for a longer period of time, which is, you know, perfect that's what it's supposed to be and when i compare it to what i experienced with uh, petro canada the fast chargers it's a much better experience so if uh, you guys ever travel or if you are canadian or if you travel to canada with an electric vehicle download the app um pay that monthly fee just for the time that you're going to be in canada or if you're canadian just pay for it you get cheaper charging 
and I have no idea why, but we got we got the whole charge there in Squamish for free, which was a big surprise. Uh, I have no idea why. Um, I tried to Google it. Um, no idea. Nobody has any information. I did not reach out to to Electrify Canada to ask about it. But you know, I'm very happy that <laughs> that we got that charge for free. Uh, if not, it would have costed us about nine dollars and sixty cents. If it's not correct, I'll put the put the price up here for you guys so you can see how much it was. But yeah, overall, great experience. No drama. No disconnections. No problems. You know, we arrived plugged in, we went to London Drugs, uh, bought some drinks, looked around, some of the stuff that they have there. Uh, and by the time that, uh, you know, we were ready to go, we had like 10 minutes left for the charge. Once we were done with charging, we were able to then go down the street to the Chevron gas station, um, go to their you know, restroom, and we were ready to go. So it was a perfect, perfect experience. I wouldn't have it any other way. So, based on all of this, um, I would highly recommend that if there is a choice, you guys charge with Electrify Canada. Unfortunately, they're only in three provinces right now. Um, uh, I don't know how many locations they have, but I can just pop it up here. They are definitely in BC, um, they are in Alberta, and they are also in Ontario. So if you are living in or traveling in those provinces, then definitely, definitely, definitely make sure to use Electrify Canada if you can. It's going to make your life easier. It's going to make the whole trip much more fun and you're going to enjoy the driving much more than having to deal with disconnections as it is with Petro Canada, you know, slow charging speeds, which also happen and many other headaches, plus the cost obviously the cost uh, is much greater if you keep disconnecting if it keeps throttling the the charge and you're not able to charge at full speed so you end up paying a lot of money just like i did during my review of petro canada ev fast charger which um uh, you can see also on my channel and i'll put a little link up here for you guys as well and in the description Okay, so that's it. Um, another review. What's next? Uh, I think I'm going to go and review the Old Faithful here in BC, which is BC Hydro. They have a lot of chargers around the province. Um, they're only 50 kilowatt hour, but they are in small towns as well. And they are always, always reliable. They always work, never had an issue with them. So I'll show you guys how that works. It's not as fast, but sometimes fast is not the most important. Real reliable is also very important. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.